All right, traders, I am back again with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Aussie US dollar daily time frame trading opportunity looking like a Kumo breakout on the horizon. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm currently in a trade. I'm in a trade with 84 pip profit already, and I entered this trade at this location right here. Now, I didn't enter this on the daily time frame, I entered this trade on the four hour time frame. And I got some signals from the daily time frame to let me know which way this market was going. So I looked at the immediate trend of the daily time frame to trade, but I traded this level here as you could see this level. And then I had a couple things happening and some indecision and I made my entry and boom, the market took off and went my direction. All right. So I'm still not safe with this trade until I violate this level up here then I know the market is going to continue to move higher probably if it doesn't violate that level more than likely we're going to see a couple things that could happen we know that if it doesn't violate that level it'll fall and probably go lower than this level here below this fractal but if it doesn't also violate that level it could start to range and it'll get into a area where it'll do this so it may only go back up to that level there may get back up to this fractal level here and then get into a range I've told you many times I've been telling um, a lot of my students but you could see this wasn't a very strong trend to the upside but a lot of times you'll get into the market where there's a nice big move to the downside or to the upside and once that move is almost once it's pretty much done what happens is you always have your your very low of the trend and then you always have your very high of the trend but the market doesn't usually just hit that high and then drop right off and fall down or or go to the lower levels what it tends to do a lot of times is hit that high and then trend um, range for a little bit so we may see the market range in this level area before either going higher or lower all right so it doesn't just take off and go to the downside or usually take off and continue up not most of the time you'll see that pattern develop a lot of times where you get a nice trend to the upside and then the market ranges then goes again or breaks to the downside whichever way it's going to go but um let's get let's get back to the trade this is the trade i entered on it i entered on the four hour time frame so you could see my entry level way down here and the markets continue to go higher and you're going to ask me about the tk crossover and all that stuff well i really wasn't trading the way i trade ichimoku is a little different than some people I look at this for at this daily time frame and I get my bias and I understand what the market's doing I start looking at a lot of fractals and understand which way the market the market is breaking fractals that helps me to decide the structure of the market then I go down to the four hour time frame and I enter my trade I entered this trade based off of the support level not based off of the Ichimoku signals I really didn't need the Ichimoku system on here but I'm trying to teach a lot of traders how to continue to trade Ichimoku system because I have a lot of traders that really can't pick up a lot of the price action getting in at the levels and understanding things so we really started focusing harder on Ichimoku a little bit to keep everybody you know with some kind of foundation you know a fundamental foundation and then they can continue to learn but you need some kind of system if you can't pick up certain things so that system helps you to develop the uh, it helps you to develop you know your discipline you follow your rules and stuff like that so it helps you to develop that discipline that you need to trade if you don't have discipline you don't have a plan then what good is it so if you don't have those things you need to have some kind of system that's going to keep you in a line and keep you doing the proper things all right so that's what Ichimoku does for new traders now once you start understanding the market understanding price action understanding how to understand the um, structure of the market then you could start taking Ichimoku off your chart a little bit even if you just want to throw it on there to get your bias but you don't even need that for your bias because you could look at the structure of the market and the fractals and, and the support and resistance levels and that will help you to decide what the structure is okay but we're sticking here with Ichimoku so currently you see my four hour time frame my TK crossover was bearish now this is my sub I don't use the regular Tinkinson I use the Tinkinson sub so all that is is a um, 10 EMA so that's all that is for a sub I like it a little better because I don't get a lot of the flatness that I get with the um, Tinkinson so I, I like to see that and I get a lot of trades from that pretty much like you would your regular moving average if you just trade it with a moving average okay so 
here we have this support level and I had this level marked we knew we started looking for the trade in this area we wanted to see if this Kijinsen was going to be supported got violated um, then we looked for this level down here this level held and then the trade went off I think I posted this on tradingview.com this um, Aussie US dollar trade so you will be able to see where I was marking these levels and showing where this trade was going to go to the upside all right and we're still not safe because currently we violated a bull a bear fractal now we have a bear fractal here if the market can't get back up to this fractal and continue higher then we're probably going to see it drop down and violate this fractal level and continue to the downside and maybe find support at the cloud if it can't find support there you got the bottom of the cloud a little bit of thickness here but the market will drop right through and continue falling I like to look at that daily time frame and get the big picture so the big picture tells me that overall the market is bearish really bearish you could see you know you're below that 150 you're below the cloud and that is bearish all right so now but I'm thinking if this is just a pullback so we're counter trend trading pretty much but there's some things that developed down here that let me know that this market was gonna move a little higher well with that we got to see if we can get to this level here at least to this 150 if we can get to this level then we may see the market drop or we may see what happens from there we'll see if the market can continue and violate that level but with that said I'm currently looking for a Kumo breakout on the daily time frame okay so we're looking for the Kumo breakout here you can see prices inside the cloud you got a TK crossover that is bullish all right Sequel span is above your price, so we already know where that is. It's above the price. You could go back uh, and count back 26 candles and see where Chiku span is. If you count back 26 candles, let's see where Chiku span would be. We already could kind of know where it's going to be. It's going to be above the price. It's going to be right here. This is where your Chiku span would be. Now, it's going to find resistance at this cloud when it gets here, but that's going to be a breakout here, and it'll probably be a pretty much at this level where this is my previous week's high and my previous week's low. This may find resistance here for us, too, but we need to break through this level. That'll be a Kumo breakout if you break and close above that level. That's a daily time frame Kumo breakout. You got a future that is bright, so you got blue clouds ahead of you. All right, so no thunderstorms. Here you had all thunderstorms, a lot of rain, downpour. The market was moving down. So now you're starting to see a little bit of breakthrough of some sunshine, some sunshine and clouds and the market moving higher, okay? So we, what I like to do now is look for my uh, support and resistance levels. If I have resistance levels where the market may f um, falter, I mark those down, and then I look to see where I could take profit based off of support and resistance levels that's all I do with my trade and I trade these support and resistance levels so the market came down we were in a nice downtrend then we got into a sideways market okay so the market doesn't really just take right off and go higher we got into a sideways market then we got into this sideways market and we violated this upper level but came back inside here so we need to see actually um, I got that wrong here's the level here's this um, I like to mark my levels with the wick and then I like to just put a confirmation level so that's what I would be looking at but we could see where it's sideways all right but we broke out of that sideways movement and I can tell when we're broken out of that sideways movement by breaking a fractal breaking that fractal we knew we broke the top movement now we came back and we're looking to break out of this cloud here so if we violate this cloud level this is going to be a good trade to the upside now how far is it going to go are we going to see a, is this going to be just a pullback see this is the thing that you don't really know because this whole move just started with a little move right we didn't know if it would be just a pullback move or if it would be a full-blown trend all right so even here you could look at this so the market was moving down even right here so we'll start back here the markets moving down and then you see this move to the upside right this is just a counter trend move alright so that's all this is the counter trend move right here alright and then the market gets back with this pretty much primary trend and then we have a counter trend move again alright so we have that counter trend move alright and then the market goes sideways for a little while so you could see where we went sideways and then we got back in a line with this overall um, 
trend to the downside then you had another counter trend move right here okay and then we went down and then we go sideways and now it looks like we're having a counter trend move to the upside now we have to make sure that we violate this level here to confirm this move to the upside but that will be another counter trend move maybe right so this will be just another pullback right that's all these are you got a pullback here you got a pullback here you got a pullback here and then another pullback well each of these pullbacks could turn into a primary trend it could turn into a big trend as you see you know pretty much like this it could turn into a trend like that it has to start somewhere so we don't really know which trends are gonna turn into you know a pr like a primary trend so we didn't know where this was gonna stop we we suspected it was just a pullback and then it was confirmed once it came back down we suspect this is just a pullback and then it went sideways and then went down we suspect this is just a pullback and then it dropped lower so again we suspect this is a pullback so we don't know where it's gonna um, go and then drop lower so we expect it to stay in line with this primary trend that we see alright but with that said even if we take this break out here we just want to look for levels where we could start to look for profit so if I was gonna do that I would I might start looking at this level here you know because the breakout may not be that far and when you're trading a breakout all I'm gonna look for is certain levels where I could take my profit but I really don't take the profit I like to see the market test these levels if it's gonna buy and then I want to see if it's gonna um, violate the level so we we break out of this level here depending on where you close that's about almost 100 pips from the cloud all right and then we want to see if we're gonna to get to this level up here that's about 167 165 all right and then when we get to this level we'll see what the markets gonna do then so we just pretty much go to each level and then we go to this support this resistance level here all right and then we'll see what the markets gonna do when it gets there if it gets there so we'll start marking those levels and then we'll see where the markets gonna falter and continue back with the primary trend if it's gonna continue with the primary trend as I said a major trend our primary trend starts with a fractal and it ends with a fractal so we don't know where this is gonna end all right so if we don't get the breakout here and you know all of our signals are bullish so there's nothing stopping us except price prices inside the cloud so that's not a, a bullish signal we need to get outside of the cloud and close above the cloud that'll give us a bullish signal a violation of this level here will really give us strength and, and confirmation that this market is going to continue higher now like I said how high we don't really know so that's where we have to keep tabs on our trade alright so we're looking at that Kumo breakout on the daily time frame again I'm already in the trade so I have some leeway and when I look at that breakout so I'm in the trade from this area right down here so if we get that breakout this is the cloud breakout on the four hour time frame I mark that right here so what I do I go to the daily mark that cloud on the daily then I know where it is on the four hour when I drop down to the four hour so there's the top of that cloud I know that's gonna be support and resistance for me so when I go back to the four hour and I'm looking at my trade I know that I may have issues at this level so I want to pay attention there and if I have to I take my profit there but I want to see if the market can get through that level and then I know if it gets through that level I know it's a daily Kumo breakout on the daily time frame even though I'm looking at the four hour time frame alright and then once we violate that level I can move my stop loss pretty much all the way up close to that level and let the market continue higher alright we violate this level here I can move my stop loss higher and just walk my trade with this with the um, with the market and with the support and resistance levels alright so guys all you're looking for now for this trade is the Kumo breakout alright so if the market violates this level and closes above that level you got all bull signals you want to take that Kumo breakout to the upside now I always teach my traders about multiple time frame analysis and I'm not gonna get deep into that right now so I teach about this multiple time frame analysis and taking breakouts on the daily time frame against the primary trend it's one thing we don't really do alright so 
a lot of reasons for that but when I trade I like to trade um, if I'm trading Ichimoku I like to trade the signals that I see all right so I'll trade them on that time frame if I get a four hour Kumo breakout it's because I'm trading the four hour Kumo breakout and not the daily Kumo breakout or the one hour Kumo breakout so I pretty much trade the time frame that I see and a lot of times if I'm trading myself I like to just look at look at that daily and I get my overall bias and I trade the daily but I may go down to a four hour time frame now if I'm just trading Ichimoku signals basically I'll just go to this four hour time frame and I'll look for a, uh, whatever I'm gonna trade off of this um, Ichimoku so I get a breakout here I'll trade it really not paying attention much to what the daily is telling me except maybe the support and resistance levels alright so when I go to multiple time frame analysis I start looking at what this daily is doing overall because that's what you want to be really you want to be in the line with the daily time frame you want to know the bias of the daily you want to know the structure of the daily in order to for your lower time frame trade to work okay so depending on how low you're going that daily might not affect you as much as if you know if you're trading like a, a five minute ten minute as opposed to a four hour therefore it may affect you a little more all right so that's what I do. I look at that daily, get my bias, get my support and resistance, and get the structure of the daily. And I trade that structure, that daily structure, on the four-hour time frame. All right. So that's just a little how I trade, you know, Ichimoku and how I trade support and resistance. But also, don't forget, this is the Kumo breakout we're looking at, daily time frame. All right. A lot of traders don't like trading this daily time frame Kumo breakout. So you have a big stop loss when you trade that so just watch where the market violates and where it closes a lot of times you can put your stop loss under the candle that closes because I always say if you're gonna break out of that level we don't really want the market coming back and then going we want that market to continue to go so if we say we broke out of um, this level here broke above this um, key Jensen here and we had a break of the Kijinsen. We don't want the market to come back below the Kijinsen and then go. We want it to do just like it did here. Strong break and then continue going. All right. So that's what we want to see here. Strong break and continue going. All right. So that's pretty much all I have to show right now. I'm going to monitor my trade and make sure that we can get through this level. This here level at about, what's that? Um, 73, 231. That's your daily cloud top of your cloud and that's going to be your resistance level for us with this trade as is okay so I'm going to go ahead and close out now um, but I just want to let you guys know I'm trying to get more videos for you guys on YouTube so starting to put my get my things back together so this is the beginning of that so hopefully you enjoyed this video and also I forgot to mention yes I just started um, a Twitter account so I have a Twitter account and on, on my Twitter account I will be posting a lot of trading opportunities and a lot of articles and stuff like that so you could follow me on Twitter and you may catch some of those trades so it's at chaos trader 63 capital C capital T all right so that's at chaos trader 63 on Twitter I'm new to uh, that Twitter socializing and stuff so I don't know much about it right yet but I'll catch on all right guys hope you enjoyed this until next time have a great one and God bless so long